Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Ask Flora. This week's question comes from Carmine and she writes, Hello Flora, I'm a member of your inner circle and could ask a question in this month's Q&A calls, but I want to ask you this question on your Ask Flora segment because I wanted to share your response in a group that I'm in. My question is this, how can someone learn to be able to accept feedback without taking it personally? It seems every time I give people feedback, they really get upset. Is it me? Thanks. I appreciate you and your work. Carmine from Kentucky. Great question, Carmine. So I actually have two points of view on this. My first being on unsolicited feedback and the second on solicited feedback. So first, unsolicited feedback. I would recommend that you look at how you're providing feedback. Are the people that you're giving it to asking for feedback or are you just offering it up? Also, I would recommend that you look at your tact as you're giving your feedback. Are you telling someone that they need to do something or are you making a recommendation? Now remember, everyone has their own way of doing things and their own lessons to be learned and their own life to experience. So it's really not up to us to decide what someone does or does not do or how they do it. What's a perfect way for you might not be a perfect way for somebody else. On the other hand, if someone is asking for feedback and you give them your honest answer with tact and they get upset, they might not be ready to hear the truth about the situation. Now, try to let go of their reaction or their response. In this case, when they've asked you for feedback and then they react in a seemingly negative way, know that that's their own internal dialogue and their own beliefs about the situation. And what's possibly happened is your truth has triggered something in them about this situation and about what you've said. Many times people aren't ready to hear the truth. So that very well could be the point. But if this is happening over and over and over again, you may want to think about how you are delivering this. And so learning to speak your truth with tact is a skill. But once you master this, this is something that is such a blessing. <laughs> and also being able to speak your truth to others and release the need for them to validate or accept your truth is also key in situations like this. There's a great book called The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. This book explains perfectly and beautifully how to not take things personally from someone else. So whether it's a reaction or a response from someone that emerges from your feedback, look at how the feedback was prompted. Did they ask for feedback? or did they not ask for feedback? And did you feel that you needed to tell them how to do something differently? Or were you merely just stating your honest truth? So allow yourself to own your truth and allow them to own theirs and allow yourself to learn to tactfully deliver solicited feedback and allow yourself to also restrain from delivering unsolicited feedback or sharing what someone needs to do or what they have to do in order to solve a solution. What works for you might not work for someone else and what works for someone else might not work for you. So allow yourself to own your truth and allow others to own theirs. Thank you so much, Carmine, for sending your question in this week for Ask Flora. If you have a question for me, please send it in to flora at florasage.com. And I look forward to answering your questions next week. Bye-bye.